Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Survey said. So I had an interesting question from a viewer that I have my own personal opinions about, but it may not have been the right one and I probably would have pissed off a bunch of people, but you know, sometimes I do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I took a survey though on this question for the past week now, pretty much asking everybody whom I thought, you know, could answer it in a, you know, tennis type of way. So, and I will tell you the results. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So before we uh, move on with the gong show here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, family feud, whatever you guys call it. For those of you know who, if for those of you know what, who, what the gong show is, um, congratulations. You're old like me. Okay. Anyways, um, before I get going, uh, I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel and buying me a coffee. As you guys know, I drink a cup of dark roast black coffee every morning just to get me up. Um, so I appreciate it. And I thank you so much. The site is buy me a coffee uh, backslash tennis spin and the link will be below. Okay, so I'm going to start with the question. Okay, it has to do with mixed doubles. And it's from my buddy Tony La Russa. Baseball coach? Nah, right? Anyways, um, this is what he says. Um, Hello, Harry. I love your YouTube videos. I was hoping you could help me with this below. Maybe it could even be a subject of a video. Well, here you go. Here goes. I have played a lot of tennis over the years, but only recently started playing mixed doubles. I'm currently in a 7.0 league on Saturday, and we had an incident. Let me lay it out for you. We are in a close match in the first set. Our male opponent was serving, and I was on the deuce side receiving. The female opponent was playing very close to the net, to the inside of the doubles alley. I returned the serve to the male opponent in his deuce court. He returned it short back to me. I proceeded to run towards the net and try to return the shot down the alley in the ad court or the side of the court that the female opponent was on. I missed the angle I was aiming I was I missed the angle that I was aiming for and the ball went at the female opponent. It was not smashed but it was hit with an average pace for a shot of this kind. It hit the frame of her racket and bounced off harmlessly and we won the point. I immediately threw up my hands in gesture that was not intentional. The female opponent as well as the male opponent both had some choice words for me and it was very it was a very tense match the rest of the way. My question is did I do something wrong by trying to hit the ball uh, uh, by trying to hit the ball on this point to the weaker opponent's side, which in this case was the female opponent. Okay, so the etiquettes of mixed doubles. Okay, so we've all played mixed doubles at some point in our lives, whether it be for fun, whether it be for league, whether we play it on the pro circuit, we've played with a female before against another male and female, okay? Now, I had to take a survey on this and I did survey a bunch of people. Like, 
from 3-0 level all the way up to 5-5 level of women and as well as coaches. And I've asked each one of them, I was like, in a circumstance like this, ask the women first, the 3-0, 3-5s, 4-0, is it kosher to do this? Um, their opinion was, you know, it really doesn't mean like, like the question was interesting because they, their answer was if the female is the weaker opponent, then yes, go after them. But you have to remember sometimes the male is the weaker opponent. So you basically take the sex of the person out of the equation and during the warm up or during the beginning of a match, um, you, you kind of figure out who the weaker person is. If it's indeed the woman, yeah, pick on them, go after them, right? And if you're that woman who's standing at the net, petrified that the ball's gonna come to you, uh, don't stand there, is what they said, okay? Because you've signed up to play with a man and a man on the other side with another woman, right? So you're taking your game in your own hands. So, I mean, so you can't get mad at that because you chose to play. So that's what those 3-0 to 4-0 women said. So they have no love loss for the situation. All right, you gotta, you know, accept accept it for what it is okay so i asked the next that people asked was four or five women to five five women right obviously these women are better they played in college right um, they can hang with the men so it's a different level they are playing 10-0 mixed they can handle the pace they stand up at the net they volley well okay when you go after them, they can handle it. So it's a little bit of a, a little different situation. Uh, but I gave them the same scenario and they said, yeah, you go after the weaker opponent, right? It, it's you, you like, it's like what I said, you, you go out there to play, you signed up for this, right? You get hit, you get hit. Okay. So both of the women groups I surveyed, and this was probably over a dozen women, um, said the same thing. Okay. You go out there, you accept it. Okay. So now I, I went into the men's. So the three O men's to the four O men's, um, everybody on that side pretty much said the same thing. You know, I, I'm not going to hit her on purpose. Okay. Is what they all said. Um, if they're standing at the net, and I'm going to smash it. I'm not going to smash it as hard as I can. But, you know, at that level, um, things happen. You know, you're not playing with a 5-0 that can handle um, an overhead and hit it where they want to. You're probably playing with a 3-5. So they might frame one and uh, it's going to go 100 miles an hour at you on an overhead smash right at the woman's head. So you kind of have to think about that, too. If you're standing at the net and there's an overhead smash, better turn around or run off the court because it may hit you. Okay. So it, it has to do with the levels too. Cause a three, five overhead or a three, five is going to play pretty differently than a five. Oh, um, they're pretty much not going to be able to hit it where they want to, if you know what I mean. Um, so the men basically, we're a little softer that says, yeah, we're going to take our foot off the pedal or at least try to, um, and not really, you know, hit it too hard at her or ding her on purpose. Okay. But it does happen because, you know, half the time they might not know where they're hitting it to. Okay. But they don't do it intentionally, but there are people out there that, you know, that are just going to go consistently at the net of you standing there. Okay, it just depends. You know, it's just like people out there. You got some people that will and you got some people that won't. So, eh. okay. So the next group was a 4-5 to 5-5 five, five men. 
I was like, so what do you think of this? And they're like, eh, I mean, again, you know, these guys are better. They can hit the ball where they want. Um, they're basically used, used to playing with women who can handle it. So they basically said the same thing. You go out there, you know what you signed up for. So the only person, the only person that basically was the gentleman of the whole survey was my man, Coach Rob. Because when I, when I said, hey, Coach Rob, what do you think of this scenario? He's like, oh, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, Coach Rob, so you're telling me that uh, you're just going to hit to the guy and kind of dink it up to the woman so she can smash it at you? He's like, no, no, no. But I would, you know, I wouldn't do, I, I wouldn't, I would play it fair and, and not pick at her. And I'm like, okay, well, what if you're in an intense battle and it's in league play, right? Did they, didn't they sign up for this? Didn't you sign up for this? Didn't your partner sign up for this? Like, he thought about it. It's like, yeah, that's true, huh? So, so even Coach Rob kind of jumped on the bandwagon at the end uh, and said, you know, you did sign up for it and uh, you did go out there and play. So, but the whole, the whole consensus, including my own, is that in a 7 0 league match, right? You got guys that can control their pace, right? A lot of them only have one speed and that's either hit it hard or hit it harder. So either it's going to go in going hundred miles an hour or it's going to hit the fence. So you got to be careful of those players in those instances. Maybe, maybe stand at the baseline. Don't stand at the net and then move in and learn that way because um at the end of the day most people aren't going to want to hit you on purpose okay most of the time it's going to be an accident you hold up your hand and say hey sorry you know instead of you know unless you're one of those people who just need need some kind of incentive to play harder okay but you sign you know what you signed up for okay play tennis ignore that you got a woman and a man out there and just play the game, okay? And for those of you who got hit, hey, you got hit for a reason, all right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, Leonard, when is it not cool to hit at the woman uh, in a mixed doubles match? When she's on your side. Okay.